Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we are diving into Hogwarts Legacy, and I'll be walking you through the story missions. Hopefully you'll enjoy this. If you do, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and let's get into the video. So to start this chapter, we need to go to Herbology class. So that one's a little bit different. So let's go through here. What are you up to now? Down this way. I think Herbology class is in a new area for us. So now we've got the new Foo Flame. Now we can begin quest. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the Mandrake Root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their Mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for okay. our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knock grass. Professor yes, Garlic. Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. 
A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Oh, my table fancy, is here, it would seem. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion. Select. As you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. And ready in ten minutes. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganwell potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay. So meet Pruitt. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomp. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. <laughs> Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright so slaughtered him. Down it here. Brilliant. Oh, here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Any am I collecting? All of them. Old L one. Look at that! That's more than anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious hey, little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Okay. So make our way back. Such a, a maze, especially if I don't follow the the new map properly. Wait, isn't there? Oh, it's over there. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. Come up here gloves. and talk to Garlic to again. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Right, herbology class completed. Okay, so now it actually owns unlocks two that we can do um we're gonna start with 
potion class. So for that, I'm going nice to, to run out you, this God. way. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, yeah. I'll trade you as soon as we're okay, follow down here. Speaking of the we have the new flu flame. Professor Black would never allow that. Oh, let me in. Alright, and begin quest. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Wondering if I needed that material first. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Just following the button prompts. Well enough. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the I need to come over here. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's Ooh, office feather. with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Hey. Your potion should not be that covered. Now... Collect her. Yeah. Revelio. There's the Fwooper Feather. 
in the eggs. Okay. Keep your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the fwapper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Alright. So brew should you potion. Drop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss this of your one, eyebrows. Right? Yes. So I need to wait. 30 seconds basically. And now we add the mallow sweet and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it. Again. Oh, smell. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> huh? Well done, Gareth. What okay. now, Mr. Weasley? We'll collect Sorry, that now. Sir. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by <laughs> failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. And that completes potion class. All right, so now we need to meet Natty Onai in Lower Hogsfield. I don't have any good fast travel spots near there. So I guess I'm going to use the north... Hogwarts North exit. Alright, so that's at least got me outside. So now I can make my way. Why is it telling me to go? Where is it telling me? Is it this way? Yeah, okay. So we'll just run, run, run. I'll eventually unlock more travel points. Oh, this is a long run. Okay, there's the beast classroom travel point. That's good. There's some gems there. Or I guess Moonstone. Keep going. Yeah, this is gonna be a long, long run. Hey, let me up. Might as well. I don't know what I need Moonstone for yet, but I might as well collect it because it's there. That's what I think. At least now we're getting kind of into the woods, I guess. Can I beat up the squirrel? I cannot. So keep going, I will. Well, look at this little hut. That looks interesting. 
all the pumpkins. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, now you speak. All right, well, we're almost to our objective. There we go. <sighs> it is good to see you, Talk my to friend. her. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Yeah. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Okay. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. Poaching. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Yes, I will be on my guard. Revelio. What's going on here? Okay, now it wants us to help a stranger. So we're gonna come over here. And see what's going on. They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid! Hey, you guys... Never you guys are just toast. Pay for that! <laughs> that was fun. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. The collection section of your guide has been updated with new enemy types. You may learn valuable insight. Okay, okay. I'm not going anywhere with you. Clumsy little. You'll take this wait, student wait, wait. over my okay. Think. We need this. Nice try! Leviosa! That's it! Aha! Uh -huh. Back for more! Potato! Knew you would! Learn that in first! Ha! You're in the end! Oh, you're okay, going to regret that! Just 
just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Okay, let's speak with the stranger. You're right. I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive Earth. skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Research? How You're interesting. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Oh, Merlin? Extraordinary. Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Oh, Merlin was a Slytherin. Okay. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Okay. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Oh, come get this. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Incendio. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio. Merlin's beard. The flames make the pyre sink. The pyres are back where they started. Hmm. And yeah, that one doesn't need fire. Incendio! That one's fire. It is, okay. So, we're like all three on fire. That makes sense. Man, how beautiful! What a day! I can hardly believe it. Oh, you don't really get anything from it? I take okay. it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite. 
which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Okay. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. That completes the quest trials of Merlin. You wear a hat, they call dad. Me, I'm the dad in a hat. You just like clubbing in clothes. Me, I like afternoon naps. Three, I be missed for the road. My oldest like counting racks. You wear a hat, they call dad. Me, I'm the dad in a hat.